let them think what they want like I think what I want you know you can't if you're conducting yourself in a certain way and behave in a certain way and and you're trying to prevent people doing the way they're doing their way it's weird isn't it obviously if you've got a little weird kid that's just doing his own little thing not harming no one there not doing nothing just being powerful in his own little way just gonna leave him let him get on with it why are you targeting him you know but if you've got that little knobhead there that's stealing cocaine to my man's little sister who's 17 well then there's an issue isn't there you know why are you targeting these kids that are trying to become something in life but leaving all alone that's out there for you to target these don't make sense big zigs with a big rig and they're hard to fight when you a believer can ask God for help it's called a dua and God will answer well you know what mate when your army is God not on confusion when your right hand man is Jesus Christ not on confusion mate and if you're doing and being like him you'll be sweet Spencer Davis R.A.L. You're thick skinned. Nice one, Leisha. Some people in here are horrible, but really they're just jealous and sad. It's James, just go on my flat. Just go on my flat. He's right, James. Ah, uh, AL, just became a team member. Nice one, Lara. How are you, Lara Croft? Are you cool? How long are that piece of being in your lesson? Two minutes. I'm sound, you know, mate. Yes, Leisha. Gigi saying, Jesus is king. Liverpool, you're number one. Yes, John Swin. Why don't you walk around Liverpool with God and Jesus? Says Blake McDonald. Liverpool, sh what, what do you want to walk around Liverpool for? Would you walk around with God and Jesus? You don't do you, lad? Blake MacDonald, let's look at you. MacDonald, Blake. Why don't you walk around Liverpool with God and Jesus? It doesn't matter where I go. They're with me. Is it do your head in, lad? Is it really do your head in because you die? Never mind, lad. You know. We all have dads that are dickheads. You got Blake, I wouldn't want to walk around Liverpool, no. I know you wouldn't last two minutes, lad, would you? You wouldn't last two minutes, mate, would you? Hey, little frightened victim, aren't you, really? You'd run around, running your mouth off, giving people... And you'd never do anything than people have done, ever. Even if it meant... Your life was on the line. You still wouldn't have the willpower and the strength within the heart to do it, would you, lad? You'd just die, wouldn't you? God doesn't say to put yourself in danger, says Prince. I don't, mate. Do you have Irish blood, does? Sure do, kid. How are you, Margie Fitzellis? You all right, mate? Boris is in, saying morning. Boris the spider. How are you, lad? Did you win yesterday, Boris? Charlie Wright, K2YP, hit a freestyle mush. Nah, mate. Have you heard of the Battle of Badger, 1313, Muslims free, 100,000 Crusaders? It's scary how they won. God help us. I'd ignore all that. It's all that history. There's something not right about it, lad. The city you live in is boring because you live there. I like Liverpool, strong communities. Spencer Davis. 
Uh, your brother's birthday today says to yes. I've got no brothers, mate. I've got no brothers. Don't even remember my own birth date. Don't even remember my kids' birth dates unless I get reminded. I don't give it. If you're dead and buried and I've said me thing for you, I've said me thing for you. I'm not going to say it every year. I'll have a little think here. Your brother don't want to know you. have got no brothers, you tell me. Look at the kip of you. Loving father and loyal friend and hard worker. Be humble. But you're a fat knobhead, lad, aren't you? CS Hood. You're a loyal father who wants to remain humble, but you're coming in here chatting major. Look at the kip here, lad. Overgrown, waste of space. Doesn't matter how much money you make. You just sit there on your phone telling people what they need to be doing, okay? There's nothing physical about you, lads. you just got a little brain and you can use a phone. That's why you sat on a desk all your life, you helmet. But yeah, I my brothers off people. Not the other way round. Ian was a dog that robbed me and was speaking to police about me. So we got jogged on. Stephen was just a crackhead in prison doing a ten. I haven't seen him since. Danny, you know that. Billy killed himself. I sacrificed them all, mate. You want to live that life? You want to participate with them mongrels there? You just go for it in a bit. I'm over here. You stay well away from me. If not explaining, lads, letting my people know. Dun, 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 dun. Accounts have you got, lads? Bam, da, 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 dun, da, da, dun. You know, there's little families of dirty mongrels in Anfield and that, Liverpool. I could start naming them, I'm going to. So let's look at the Jews. You know, you've got a family in Liverpool called the Jewses. Craig Jews. Snitches, basically. So what these drug dealers do, and the dad, the dad thinks he's some major property landlord, but he's just a fat snitched on some kid from Kirby, tried his hardest to get him lifed off. Now they target me all the time, the Jews. Why? Because they're like the lamb's best mates. You know, the carols. They're all like the same dirty drug dealing firm. So they constantly target me and check. I've had to go to that. Craig Jewish place of work and he's self in the veil. Absolutely self. After running his mouth off with the other shout about me on a video. And this is what they all do. You know, I've been in a kitchen with that Craig Jewish. I've been in Tony Ferris's kitchen. You know, the lad that set me up. And Craig Jewish is another mate of his, sits in his kitchen from the coke. Blurt. And I'm in the kitchen and I've had that kid shaken. Shut. Six months later, he's given me a video. And that's just one of the drug dealing families in the city of Liverpool that constantly target me. And again, when I see the fat helmet, it's over for him. And he knows it. He doesn't move off his doorstep. He'll come off his doorstep, get in his van, go to his work with his dad and his little mates that work for him. And then come back to his doorstep and then doesn't move out the house. Because he knows sat on him about three times victim and he's just one of them one family and why have you upset them because the money the power base that they all worked for I just insulted and got rid of <whistles> on your way lamb go and do your 25 years you silly little heads And all these little helmets worshipped him. How are you, Tessa? Marku? You know that Moser, mate? You know that, lad. You know what I'm dealing with as well. If you're from Anfield and you know the names I'm speaking about, you know the only thing that prevents them getting hospitalised is the people they're mixing with. So as it is, not for me, but for the majority in their area, the only reason the majority in their area don't put them in hospital 
is because of the people they're with. Not because of the person he is, because of the people he's with. Do you understand? And there's loads of right through the city of Liverpool that get a bike, don't get hospitalised because they're attached to a certain firm or a certain fella. And there's loads of them. Loads of them, no. Not with me. We didn't get it all to you with step on our toes, you got it. And it's always been that way. Yes, ADB French Bulldogs. And we ain't even our toes. I'm going on like that. It was me and our, me brothers. Weren't it? it was me and a mate of mine or another mate of mine from down there. I think I've been on two missions with Danny and he completely f***ed up on me. Nearly got me life off. Yes, Ronnie. So, uh, two missions I've been on with Danny nearly got me f put in jail for major years over it. The rest of my missions have been by myself or with a little someone or not. It's easy. It's so easy for me to just appear in your neighbourhood at 10 o'clock at night. Out the blue. <whistles> this is what I'm saying. So, everyone that's targeted me over eight years from Liverpool, from my area, they've been set up shop in that area all their lives. They've been set up shop in that area all their lives, mate. Right, so think about it, right? Think about what I'm saying to you, right? The people that are targeting me, they've got businesses in that area. They've had that one house in that area that they've lived in all their life. They're still there today. They've got that one school where they take every one of the children to at that one time. This is everyday routine, like creatures of habit. This is what I'm dealing with. Creatures of habit. If I really lose the plot and I think, right, time for you to go, I can just walk to a certain place at a certain time and I know you're there. For a fact, you're there. Do you understand? And this is what they're all, they're all, they're all in the gangs, in the da 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 They don't realise if you've got a crazy knock at your door and as soon as it opens, the first person that opens it, dead. Do you think police are going to protect you then? It takes police 20 minutes when you've rang them, you snitch. It's over by then, mate. And this is what you don't understand. This is what you little rats don't realise. There is kids out there that will just appear on your doorstep and whoever opens it's getting put in the floor. The police, they're not looking to get away. No, but you understand what I mean, don't you? You don't understand what I mean. Even if the even if the lads moved out, he still goes to his Mars on a Sunday. They're just pure creatures of Abbey. With me, I've got no one and nothing. There's nothing attached to me. There's nothing around me. You can come to this front door, which they won't. Us. I'll come to your front door. You won't come to mine. And there's loads of them everywhere. This is what I'm saying to you, people. Gang mentality gives complete idiots the audacity to think they're even strong. And I keep on repeating it to you, don't I? It's all like you cut down the trunk, the monkey scatter. Never heard a true quote in my life. You take the big dog out, all the little mutts just run for the fences, mate. Trust me.